Springtime in Wonderland Park is now open on weekends. This Saturday and Sunday, the gates will open at 1 for hours of fun on all your favorite Wonderland rides. Enjoy the water ride, Riptide. Ride all the rides except Fantastic Journey and the Texas Tornado for only $9.50. Includes tax. See how brave you can be when the world turns upside down on the Texas Tornado. It's a weekend of thrills, chills, and excitement starting at 1 this Saturday and Sunday, weather permitting, at Wonderland Park in Thompson Park. At Boots and Jeans Western Store, free Justin jacket with a purchase of any pair of men's or ladies Justin Ropers, $89.95 a pair. All new shipment, all sizes Wrangler Cowboy Cut Jeans, $12.88 a pair. Large group men's and ladies Ropers, $39.95. Ladies tank tops, $4.50 and up. Denim jumpsuits in stock now. Large group denim skirts, $29.95 and up. Lady Wrangler Cowboy Cut for girls, normally $29, now $19.95. And just for Father's Day, large selection of Montana silversmith buckles and name blank belts, all at Boots and Jeans Western Store, 4600 South Georgia, open till 9 nightly. Keep your snork on, Tudor. Today's exciting adventures are coming right up. You can send for name tags, stickers, and owner certificates. You'll we'll never be sad again, but I'm glad you'll still be wrinkled. Pound puppy, you're my rumpled, wrinkled puppy love. Pound puppies, rumpled skins, each sold separately. New from Tonka. We now return to the snort. The snort will return after these messages. Shira and Catra dolls each sold separately. Now, your beautiful wings and magic horn. I want Crystal Swift wings. My dazzling starburst cape will stop you and shine again. I think Catra has seen the light. Starburst Shira and Crystal Swift wings each sold separately. New from the Princess of Power collection. Catra also sold separately. I just love playing with my toy train. The McDonald's Chicken McNugget Happy Meal Guys. All right, all right. With regular fries and regular soft drinks. Well, you guys are always on the right track. <laughs> what did you put in your Happy Pal? Marvel truck. 
When you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you get one of five need-to-fill Happy Pails. What's in yours? <laughs> McDonald's Happy Pails, each with shovel or rake. You can collect all five. Your golf course. I'm not playing without my lucky ball. Well, we're playing through without you. See you later. Easy for them to say. For return after these messages. Ugly friends that change color in warm and cool water, each sold separately. You can cuddle up to Rainbow Bear, Hello Kitty, Tuxedo Sam, and My Melody. Hello Color changes color, right before your eyes. Hello Color, Rainbow Bear, Tuxedo Sam, Hello Kitty, and My Melody, each sold separately, new from Tonka. They're here. From across all 50 states, the 1986 miniature license plates, free inside Honeycomb, Florida. Michigan, and this, the Sea America Plate, which makes you a winner of a dynamite family vacation to fun places from Walt Disney World to Hawaii. Details on specially marked boxes of Honeycomb cereal. Odds of winning one in 620,000. For a free entry, write Honeycomb P.O. Box 5470, Ridgely, Maryland, 21660. If you get yours today, who knows where it might take you tomorrow. Hi, this is Cherry Johnson of Punk and Brewster. Saturday mornings are my favorite on NBC. And coming up next is Disney's Adventure of the Gummy Bears. The lovable, huggable little bears. So let's all be there next. I'm Tom Bray, and I'll be right back with One to Grow On. They're here. From across all 50 states, the 1986 miniature license plates, free inside Honeycomb, Florida, Michigan, and this, the Sea America plate, which makes you a winner of a dynamite family vacation to fun places from Walt Disney World to Hawaii. Details on specially marked boxes of Honeycomb cereal. Odds of winning one in 620,000. For a free entry, write Honeycomb P.O. Box 5470, Ridgely, Maryland, 21660. If you get yours today, who knows where it might take you tomorrow. Hi, Connie. I can't talk now, Craig. I'm practicing for my church choir. That's a pretty neat costume, Connie. I know it sure beats that little cap you wear. It's a yarmulke. In my religion, we get to do all sorts of neat things. I bet you don't. Well, I don't have a robot. That's because my religion is better than yours. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. What I just heard wasn't music to my ears. Now, who's to say what religion is better? Everyone is entitled to their own individual belief and faith. That's what the Constitution says. So be proud of who you are and what your religion is. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Anyone who does is singing off-key. You like your religion? I like mine. But you can't say yours is better just because you have a robe. I guess I got carried away. That's okay. Say, we sing at my temple, too. Want to practice together? Sure. Bye! And that's one to grow on. Hey, guys, what's in all the buckets? Cocoa. All oh, right. Lots of deep chocolatey cocoa. Did you say me any? Sure, a whole box full of Cocoa Krispies. And the cocoa comes first in fruit. Russell and the cocoa. That's all you gotta do? There's no stopping that cocoa from popping. Snap, snap, pop, cocoa crispies. Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies, a chocolatey part of this complete breakfast. And this really be chocolatey. <laughs> With all those buckets, you can't <laughs> miss. <laughs> Gregor. Uh, now stay tuned for the shummy bear go. Uh, gummy bear show. <laughs> it's magical. It will return after these messages. Free ride. Pull. Okay. The McDonald's Happy Meal guys. Roger. Hamburger. Fries. And soft drink. All, all regular, regular size. size. How do you like the ride so far? Ride? What ride? Whoa. <laughs> ride, ride. One for the king's castle. One for the king's show. One fridge water. You get one of five different Happy Pails when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal. And one <laughs> you can collect all five Happy Pails at McDonald's. I'm moving my feet for it tastes so neat. A new Kellogg's Pop Tart taste. Pop, 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 my they can't stop. A peanut butter and jelly hits the spot. You know it tastes so good. Yeah, I'm moving my feet to the Pop Tart beat. I'm moving real fast because they shoot all last. Peanut butter, jelly inside, pastry on the outside. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I'm moving my feet to a peanut butter. We now 
return to the adventures of the Gummy Bears will return after these messages. Water toy. Your parents attach it to any garden hose. From Whammo. Keebler presents the appealing taste of baked potato skins in a crispy, crunchy chip. Potato skins got baked potato appeal because they're made with potatoes and skins that are real. The key after these messages. You've got to try this. It's a new host of pudding pie. All chocolatey on top. Yeah. And inside real vanilla pudding. Wow. Oh, so good. Can I have some? New Hostess Pudding Pies. Mm. A crust you could eat all by itself. Ah. And creamy vanilla pudding inside. Mm. Hostess makes real pudding taste really special. Creep. New Hostess Pudding Pies make real pudding taste really special. Gotta try. Mmm. He's so cute. Lang -lang. And he drinks double fruit. Wonderful to me. Double cool, double fruit. Now I really want to shout it. It's real fruit taste and vitamin C. Double cool, double fruit. It's for him and for me. Double fruit, cool, double fruit from high sea. We now return to the adventures of the gummy bears. The gummy bears will return after these messages. Ah, my chocolatey cocoa pebbles. Look, look. Who's there? Look. Rock who? Look, boss. To clean up your act. Can you clean up this place? Stand back. Oh, no, not my Coco Pebbles. coco -licious. Barney, you tricked me out of my pebbles. <laughs> Time for a clean getaway. How's Coco or Fruity Pebbles cereal? Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that delicious. Ladies and gents, it's the Batcha by the Chip Fight in this corner. Andy Cassette. Contender to buy the Chips Ahoy without biting a chip. And in this corner, Chips Ahoy, champion of chocolate chip cookies. He takes a bite. Ooh. He bit a ton of chocolate chips. From the right, from the left. He's knocked out by a little chip. Champ, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Now you can get the Karate Kid Part 2 poster free in specially marked bags of Chips Ahoy. <laughs> Dwight Schultz, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. Oh, what I wouldn't do to get fruity pebbles with grape flavor. Say, aren't you? Grape is what I like. Give me fruity pebbles and I'll let you ride my bike. Here, you love these fruity pebbles with grape flavor. Purple, purple. Grape, grape. Fruity pebbles taste so great. Funny. Uh-oh. Time to pick up the beat. Hugs Fruity on Cocoa Pebble Cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that was delicious. Hey, Anna, you smell something? No. I'm sure I smell something funny. Don't you? Hey, wait. I smell it. Something's burning. Fire! Fire! Help! Fire! Fire is frightening and dangerous, but if a fire does break out, don't panic. Just hit the deck as fast as you can, crawl to the nearest door, and get out of the house. Don't try to be a hero and put the fire out yourself. And once you're outside, you call the fire department so you learn their number and be prepared to give them your name and address. But stay cool. Remember, being calm can be the difference between getting hurt and getting out unharmed. And that's one to grow on. You've got to try this. It's a new host of pudding pie. All chocolatey on top. Yeah. And inside real vanilla pudding. Wow. Oh, so good. Can I have some? 
new Hostess Pudding Pies. Mm. A crust you could eat all by itself. Ah. And creamy vanilla pudding inside. Mm. Hostess makes real pudding taste really special. Creep. New Hostess Pudding Pies make real pudding taste really special. Gotta try. Mmm. Clumsy Smurf. Yep, yep, yep. Coming up next, another Smurfy adventure. Applejack's update. Just in. The big story is more real apple and Applejacks. Over to you, Jane. Right, Ted. Apple eats sweet taste now with more real apple. Sir? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That says it all, Ted. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Kellogg's Applejacks mm -hmm. with more real apple for an apple sweet part of this complete breakfast. Now back to Applejacks. Mm -hmm. There's one that looks like you. See, you look like me. Hair that's soft and silky too. Eyes a shade of blue. Sit while mommy ties your shoe. Can you stand up too? Big girl, standing by yourself. You are the one for me. You're my child. My Child Dolls come in different designer outfits and a real Pampers diaper. New from Mattel. We now return to Smurfs. Memorize your daily quotation from Brainy Smurf. Anything you can do, Brainy does better. Repeat after me. Anything you can do, Brainy does better. Anything... Uh, poor Poppy. You have a thorn in your paw. Ah, a perfect opportunity for me to demonstrate my superior skill in all things. Observe how Puppy instinctively responds to me with trust and affection. Oh, it'll be all right. You're such a brave boy, Puppy. There. Oh, anything you can do, Brady does better. Oh, I could be a friend to the animals, too. All I need is a friendly smile. And an official ID card. Come on, Flutterby. Let's visit all our three friends in the forest. Just the four of us. Ah Nah, I have heard the call of the wild. Ah And I've decided to devote my life to aiding animals in distress. I, too, care for the fauna of this great world. And I intend to prove that I am Brainy Smurf, friend. To all the animals. You can't run from me forever, my priceless wildcats. Steve, boys. Oh, 
Oh, you have the most gorgeous pearl of any creature in the forest. But don't let it go to your head. Let it go to mine in the form of a fine fur hat. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere left to run, my beauty. <laughs> no! No, now, lads, we'll get that cat out of its natural habitat it won't have long to live. One way or another. Soon, very soon, the shine from my glasses will be known as a beacon of hope in the wilderness. Furthermore, uh, 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 Mr. Beaver has a Tuesday. Do you know me? I'm Brainy Smurf, friend to all the animals. Now, if you have a toothache, it probably means you aren't brushing properly. Let me demonstrate 500 effective brushing techniques which have... Uh, Brainy? I think Mr. Beaver needs his tooth pulled. No problem. Now, don't be afraid, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> so that's how beavers use those big, strong tails. That's you. Do you know me? I'm Brainy Smurf, friend to all the animals. Gosh, Mrs. Skunk, you have quite a stuffy nose. <laughs> Poor creature obviously doesn't know how to blow its nose properly. There are several techniques for blowing one's nose, Mrs. Skunk. Observe. There is the little hunk, the medium hunk, and the full-scale trumpet solo. Uh-oh. Right now, a stuffy nose would be absolute heaven. You know me. I'm Brainy Smurf, friend to... Oh, Brainy! Mrs. Porcupine is going to have a baby! Perfect! Mrs. Porcupine, when it comes to babies, I wrote the book! See? Yeah! Obviously, she doesn't know quality literature when she sees it! Take it from an expert, Mr. Dragon, your sore throat was probably caused by talking too much. Now say, ah. If these animals don't treat me with more respect, I'm gonna stop being their friend. If you're gentle with them, Brainy, you'll find animals are very loving creatures. Oh, yeah? What about that frog? Well, you have to understand, Brainy, frogs don't want their warts removed. Well, I thought he looked firmier with a clear complexion. Yeah, uh, maybe we should go home now, Brainy. Oh, no. I will prove I am Brainy Smurf, friend to all the animals if it kills me. Or them. Now is the time, Asriel. Time to drop the final drop of lava juice into my spicy scumball stew. It's crucial that I drop just one drop, Asriel, or the whole thing will explode. <coughs> Asriel, you boneheaded nincompoop! <coughs> no! Go and make someone else's life miserable! going on out here? <laughs> Get in here this instant, Asriel! <laughs> what is wrong with you, you flea-ridden fuzzbrain? Ah, my fur hat has been this way. Drat! It escaped across this pond. Well, we'll have a little hat trap waiting, just in case it comes back. What do you want with this poor cat, Azriel? It doesn't even have a tail. Azriel, come back here! Azriel! <laughs> Asriel, 
if you run off with that good-for-nothing cat, I'll never speak to you again! Never, never, never! Azriel, you stupid oh, cat! Oh, Go! Azriel, you rotten nah, little cat! he's too skinny, and he doesn't look jolly at all. <laughs> Do you know me? Do you want to know me? Do you really care one way or the other? Free, look, the wild cat's paw is caught in the trap. Quick, Rainy, do you have a rope? Of course, a friend to the animals is prepared for any emergency. And this rope, woven of the finest flax, is a fine example of... defy all smurfly understanding. I did it! I did it! I'd stay off that paw for a few weeks, pussycat. If you're ever in town again, here's my card. Meow! Yum, yum! Hey, I saved your life! Where's your gratitude? It's only a wild cat, Brady. It doesn't know any better. What is it, you worthless fuzzwad? I shouldn't even be speaking to you. Hm. This should be proof to you, Azriel, what a stupid animal this is. I've got you, too, you beautiful creature. Hey, boys! My godfather! This is your cat? It is now! Well, 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 it's absolutely stunning and a perfect match for Azriel, don't you think? Step aside, knave. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. Brainy, we've got to save that cat. Are you kidding? From now on, I'm Brainy Smurf, friend to Brainy Smurf. Oh, but, 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 please don't shoot, Godfather. Uh, you could hit Azriel. Who cares as long as I get my fur cap? What happened to all those things you said about caring for the animals, Brainy? Did you really mean them, or were you just putting on an act? Um, well, I, um... Uh, my cat is mangy and full of fleas, I know, but it, it's all I've got. It isn't worth the gruel you feed it. Not so fast, Balthazar. No! No! Oh. Ah! Shut that smurf! Let's get out of here, Azriel! Loading furball on my hands, but now I have a sick freeloading furball as well. Oh, I hope it's someone from the zoo. Yes? Well, what's this? Dear pet owner, that furry friend of Azriel's will die if it's not returned to its mountain home. Please, for the poor beast's sake, return it where it belongs. Signed, a friend to all the animals. Oh, I'd be happy to shuffle that fur bag off to the hills. Thank you, Mr. Friend, to all the animals, whoever you are. Hey! Boy, am I proud of you, Granny. For the sake of your furry friends, you jumped on top of that fire-shooting stick. I did, didn't I? You fed puppy biscuits to some great big bloodhound? I did, didn't I? How do you feel, Granny? Like I'm going to faint. Oh! Brainy Smurf, friend to all the animals. Right now, I think you need a friend. Smurfs will return after these messages. I just love playing with my toy train. Surprise! Surprise! 
Oh, the McDonald's Chicken McNugget Happy Meal guys. All aboard! With regular fries and regular soft drinks. And you guys are always on the right track. <laughs> what did you put in your Happy Pal? Marvel truck. When you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you get one of five need to fill Happy Pails. What's in yours? <laughs> McDonald's Happy Pails, each with shovel or rake. You can collect all five. Welcome to the Sun-Kissed Fun Farm, where fun fruits grow on trees. <laughs> Sun-Kissed Fun Fruits. They're made with real grapes, oranges, cherries, and strawberries. You're supposed to chew them one by one if you can control yourself. <laughs> Sun-kissed fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun! We now return to Smurfs. There is no doubt about it. Baby Smurf is teething. Teething? Teething? What's teething? Oh, Smurf, that everybody knows what teething is. Teething is when you... Well, uh, when Baby Smurf is going to have a tooth. And what Baby needs is a visit from the Tooth Fairy. I never heard of the Tooth Fairy, Papa Smurf. <laughs> well, Smurfette. It's been 300 years since anyone around here needed the services of the Tooth Fairy. You need a Tooth Fairy? <laughs> There's no such thing as a Tooth Fairy, you fool! But it hurts so much, I can't think straight! He can't think straight? Well, think about this! If you don't get that emerald from the ambassador, I'll throw you both in the moat. You throw us in the moat? But Master Balthazar, off! The pain! The pain! I'll give you a pain right in the neck. Now get me that emerald. I don't care how you do it. Just get me that emerald. Yes, yes master. master! According to this message, the ambassador from Zad is at this very moment visiting Omnibus. That means he could be here tomorrow. I understand he has his family with him, sire. He does indeed. A wife and child. Greet him warmly and guide the entourage safely back to the castle. Yes, sire. But I haven't had my breakfast yet. Entertain the baby. Entertain the baby. Rats. Listen, Johan, I'm starving. Why can't we stop at the Smurf Village and get something to eat? Oh, I suppose if we don't, I'll never hear the end of it. Ah, Mr. Ambassador, welcome to my humble cottage. Now, this is an order, Clumsy. Whatever you do, don't let go. Yes, sir. Oh! Clumsy, you did it again. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Brainy. Oh, sure you're sorry. But let me tell you, it'll be your fault if we miss the play. A green dragon! A green-eyed dragon! Papa Smurf, it looks like nothing will amuse Baby. 
I'm afraid not, Johan. I think it's time to send for the Tooth Fairy. Oh, my tooth is killing me. Quiet, or you won't have any teeth. Now listen to me. You will intercept the ambassador on Molar Mountain. Isn't that mountain haunted? Nonsense! If the ambassador takes the high road, arrange for the bridge to collapse. And if they take the low road, arrange a rock slide. <laughs> I want that emerald! Do you really think the master has a moat monster? Oh, don't be silly. He's just trying to scare us. Yeah. My fondest regards to Honibus, Johan. Please tell him I'm looking forward to a game soon. And thank you for your hospitality, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Oh, Papa Smurf, we saw this terrible monster! It was the biggest monster I've ever seen! But it had a green eye! Are you sure it wasn't a dragon? Oh, no, it wasn't a dragon, Papa Smurf. It was a monster! Where was this monster? At the frog pond, Papa Smurf! A big pond not far from where Humnibus lives. A monster, you say? Kiwi, we must hurry. The ambassador may be in danger. Hurry, 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 hurry! We never have time to eat! Rats! Perhaps, Johan, you wouldn't mind taking along some of my little smurfs as far as Molar Mountain. We have need of the Tooth Fairy, and her cave is midway between the high road and the low road. I tell you, Johan, all this riding is not good for my digestion. I can't stand this toothache! He can't stand this toothache. What's that? Nothing, just the wind. I tell you, this mountain is haunted! It's just the wind. Now get back to work. It'll take your mind off your tongue. Look, down there! Who is it? I don't know. They're too far away. According to Papa Smurf's map, the Tooth Fairy's cave is between here and the high road. Oh, I wish you could go with us. Papa Smurf said he was very nice. I'm sorry. The ambassador is waiting. Let's hope the storm doesn't break before we get there. I wonder who that was. Who cares? Let's get back to work. We still have to arrange our rock slide. <laughs> Don't tell me that's the wind. Smurfs will return after these messages. You've got to try this. It's a new host of pudding pie. All chocolatey on top. Yeah. And inside real vanilla pudding. Wow. Mm. Oh, so good. Can I have New Hostess Pudding Pies, mm. a crust you could eat all by itself, ah. and creamy vanilla pudding inside. Mm. Hostess makes real pudding taste really special. Creep. New Hostess Pudding Pies make real pudding taste really special. Gotta try. Mmm. Here are a few words about Levi's jeans and cords. <laughs> Levi's. <laughs> We now return to Smurf. Town folk think your camel is a monster. <laughs> I suppose it is, if you've never seen a screaming camel before. <laughs> We've got 
all due respect, Ambassador, I don't know which is worse, a screaming camel or a screaming baby. What is the matter with Zama Sheba, my beloved? The poor child is teething. Surely there is something we can do. There is, husband. But alas, we are far, far from home. Well, babies are not in my line, but I do wish I had something to help. <coughs> what this baby needs is a tooth fairy, as a matter of fact. Most royal ambassador, I have been charged by my king to escort you to the castle. My family and I most gratefully appreciate your escort. I'm sure Dame Barbara can take care of the baby's problem. I will return to the castle immediately. We just got here! Surely you must be tired. Besides, there is a storm coming. My king would have it no other way. But, Johan, I haven't had my dinner yet. Do not fret, Pee-wee. I shall go alone. Ja, Bayard! Ja! We'll take the high road, old boy. Save a little time. Her cave must be right up there. Oh, yeah! I can hardly wait to give her my present. <laughs> I second thought. <laughs> Maybe I can wait. There it is again. Well, I say let's get out of here. We're not going anywhere. We've got a job to do. If we don't get that emerald, Balthazar will throw us in the moat. I wonder if the ambassador will take the high road or the low road. Who cares? I care. Suppose all this rock buries them. How will we get the emerald then? It's a lot easier lifting rocks than fighting those guards. What's that noise? The goat? No, it's a horseman. Look. You fool. I told you we caught the bridge too soon. Smurfs will return after these messages. McLeod and Doc yeah, Terror each sold separate Trouble in forever, Jake! And it's in salt mode! Let's do it! I named this Doc Terror Dam! Centurion! Take this! Energize the power mode! Bullets away! Fire! Now, Doc Terror Fall! Right, Jake? Right, Ace! New Centurions, Jake Rockwell, Ace McLeod, and Doc Terror come as shown, each sold separately. I'm moving my feet for it tastes so neat A new Kellogg's Pop Tart Pace Pop, 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 my big can after these messages. You've got to try this. It's a new host of pudding pie. All chocolatey on top. Yeah. And inside real vanilla pudding. Mm. Wow. Oh, so good. Can I have some? New hostess pudding pies. Mm. A crust you could eat all by itself. Wow. And creamy vanilla pudding inside. Mm. Hostess makes real pudding taste really special. Creep. New Hostess Pudding Pies make real pudding taste really special. Gotta try. Mmm! Look! New Papa! Found Puppy's Rumpelskins. 
This is Saturday Franco. They thought no one would ever rescue them. We have Pound Puppies Rumpel Skins, each sold separately. You're so soft and cuddly. For three fifty, you can send for name tags, stickers, and owner certificates. You'll never be sad again. But I'm glad you'll still be wrinkled. Pound Puppy, you're my Rumpel Wrinkle Puppy Love. Pound Puppies Rumpel Skins, each sold separately. New from Tonka. That robot's after our Cookie Crisp. <laughs> This plan to get Cookie Crisp cereal is out of control. I just can't help myself. It looks like little chocolate chip cookies. But it stays crispy in milk. And it's part of this complete breakfast. Look what a mess you've made. No, no, I've got it together. If you like cookies, you'll love Cookie Crisp. Now you can get free Nerds candy in three great flavors. There's one pack free in each specially marked box of Cookie Crisp cereal. We now return to Smurf. A new way of thinking. Surely this is a wonder. A new way of solving problems. I wish it could solve the problem of my baby crying. And she's under a curse and locked behind an iron door. And, and she can't get out unless we solve the puzzle. <laughs> I left her my present anyway. Hmm. A plus E equals four. E plus Y equals 10, and K plus Y equals 8. I wonder what it means. Perhaps Omnibus can help us. Oh, my tooth is killing me. Where are you going? I'm going up and get that fellow's sword. He won't need it anymore. <laughs> Ow! If the ambassador's party shows up, give the rock the push, and the slide will destroy them all. So is the ambassador's baby. A remarkable coincidence. And now, Papa Smurf, why am I honored with this visit? The Tooth Fairy is trapped behind an iron door. Here they come! And look at that. The ambassador is riding on some kind of dragon. Soon we'll have that emerald. What the? Yeah, 
camped here. And you say the puzzle can be solved with algebra? Yes. This is exactly the kind of thinking I need to free the tooth fairy. Can you tell me how this algebra works? I'll try. As yet, I'm not so sure I understand it myself. Johan will be all right, but he shouldn't be moved until he's better able to travel. Somebody weakened that bridge! Or perhaps, husband, someone knows of the emerald. If that is so, they will never find it. It is said that bad men are blind to the sparkle in a camel's eye. Johan never returned. He insisted on returning to the castle to get something to help the baby. Did he take the high road? I don't know. He left just before the storm. Rain has never taken out a bridge before. I should have stopped. What are they doing now? They've camped for the night. Now what? We wait until they're asleep and then we'll search for the emerald. And if we don't find it? Then we'll take the baby. I'm sure the ambassador will gladly trade his child for an emerald. <laughs> Look, there's that bird again. And that peewee fellow is talking to it. He's an odd one. Johan's all right, Papa Smurf. A miracle, he's alive. I wonder where the emerald is. Shh, be quiet. Soon they'll be asleep. Return to the village and bring back Baby Smurf. Hello, Francis. It is I, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf, can you help me? I'm certainly going to try. Let's see. K plus E equals four. So if E plus Y equals ten, then if K stands for T and the Y stands for... Oh, I... This is difficult. I tell you, taking this baby is a terrible thing to do. It's not as terrible as Balthazar's moat monster. When they give us the emerald, they can have the baby back. Don't cry, baby Smurf. Soon we'll be at the Duke Fairy. We're almost there. Let me tell you a joke, baby Smurf. It's really funny. Yeah. Way up there, a cave! Yeah! yeah! It's obvious, Francis, that K, E, and Y spell T. But if E plus Y equals 10, then how can... Someone's coming. We brought baby Smurf, Papa Smurf. Have you figured it out yet, Papa Smurf? This algebraic thinking is proving more difficult than I thought. My baby, my baby, someone has taken my baby. Don't cry, my dearest. We'll find someone. Over here, look over here. Look, donkey tracks. They lead up the mountain. It's all right, baby Smurf. You'll feel better soon. Well, four and ten and eight equal 22. Uh, no doubt about that. No doubt at all. Papa Smurf, someone else is coming. Over here. Well, well, what have we here? An iron door. And a little box. I wish this kid would settle down. What does that say? Can you read? No, but those are numbers. That must be the ambassador's baby. Be quiet, baby. Those are bad men. I don't like this place. Did you hear that? It came from up there. Is this somebody's idea of a joke? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! 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 
This place is haunted. The donkeys! The ambassador! Don't let them get away! I don't think she's afraid, Smurfette. I think she's teething. It must be catching. <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, I think sweet. <laughs> Francis, I'm sorry it's taking so long. After 300 years, I've learned to be patient. Now, if Y is the cave, and K the door, and E is the solution, then... Oh, if only a omnibus were here. Where is my child? But, 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 but your lordship, we found the poor little tyke in the woods. And we were just on our way to tell you we found the baby, and that it was... Where is my child? In the cave, your lordship, in the cave. Don't worry, Francis. We'll figure it out. You know, Papa Smurf, I've been thinking. Now, if Y was the key and K was, uh... No, 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 that, no, that's not it either. Let's not be discouraged, my little Smurfs. Surely there must be a simple solution. <laughs> Get this brain, it'll take another 300 years. Jokey Smurf, that is not funny. <laughs> Oh! If they have hurt my baby, it'll be their heads. <laughs> may your teeth be wise and strong, and may your lives be happy and long. Samashiba, where are you, my child? The ambassador. Come, my little Smurfs. The baby will be all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. <laughs> What's this? A tooth? Sheba has a tooth. Well, look here, Ambassador. Isn't this what you were explaining to Omnibus? Remarkable. I wonder how this came to be here. I still don't understand what made the Iron Door disappear, Papa Smurf. Neither do I, Andy. Neither do I. Smurfs will return after these messages. Okay, everybody, come outside. Everybody ready for a wild, wet ride? Slip, slip and slide. You can put it on your lawn. Turn the water on, then you run, run, run. And you're sliding on your top. Slip, slip and slide. Slip, slip and slide. It's a lot of fun to play when the spray goes all the way. Slip, slip and slide. Slip and slide comes with plastic slide and fasteners from Whammo. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Hey, you're a cookie. A brand new Keebler cookie named E.L. Fudge. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. Pleased to meet you. Rich, buttery shortbread cookies shaped like an elf, then dipped in smooth, creamy fudge. Everybody's gonna love E.L. Fudge. I never met an elf with cookie I didn't like. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. New E.L. Fudge cookies from Keebler. You'll love them. Megan, you and Sundance have the prettiest new clothes. I love the way they go together, don't you, Sundance? I sure do. My little pony, Megan and Pony wear. Dressing you up is fun to do. Each set comes with two outfits, one for Megan and one for My Little Pony. And there are six different sets in all. My Little Pony, Megan and Pony wear. Beautiful, just beautiful. Megan and Pony wear sold together. Each set sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to Smurfs. And in conclusion, my fellow Smurfs, let me assure you that I am truly humble that you have chosen me, Brainy Smurf, to make this speech. I humbly thank you from the humble bottom of my humble heart. Well, Papa Smurf, which part did you like best? Well, um, I know you're still working on it, but uh, the part after, um, in conclusion, held my interest. <laughs> 
Big Mouth and the Smurf Mayfield. Great Smurfs. Big Mouth loves Smurf berries. Ouch! What will we do, Papa Smurf? When faced with an impossible problem such as this, I try to think like Papa Smurf. Yes? Oh, <laughs> but since you're here, Papa Smurf, it's probably best that you think like Papa Smurf. <laughs> Yum, yum! Smurf berries good! <laughs> Father, pick me the biggest bunch of berries you can find. Hefty, I need a long, slender tree limb. Well done, Papa Smurf. Taylor, I need a pin from your hat. A brilliant plan, Papa Smurf. Whatever it is. Mmm! <laughs> Big Mouth ready for seconds! <laughs> Easy, 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 all right, let it go. Ooh, big berries. <laughs> big mouth, get. Good idea, big mouth, get. <laughs> Phew, either I'm getting older or trees are getting taller. <sighs> Greedy to make you some nice hot soup as soon as we get back to the village. No, thank you, Smurfette. I think I'll just get to bed early tonight. Oh, poor Papa Smurf. He worked so hard. Well, wish Papa Smurf would take a day off once in a while. Uh, but he can. Well, Smurfette, who would help us with all our problems if Papa Smurf took a day off? Well... We'll take care of our own problems. We just won't bother him for one whole day. Fine idea. He certainly deserves it. But Papa Smurf will never do it unless we do it without letting him know we're doing it. Good thinking, Brainy. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought so. Oh, let's tell the others right away. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Nothing like a good night's sleep and a smurfy breakfast to help your get up and go, get up and get going. <laughs> oh, Smurfette. Oh, good morning, Papa Smurf. Can I help you with your gardening? Oh, um, thank you, Papa Smurf, but uh, I really enjoy doing this myself. I understand. Have you seen Baby Smurf? It's my day to take care of the little darling. <laughs> Papa Smurf, Hefty took Baby to the beach today. I see. Why don't you join them? No, no, I might be needed here. I don't think so. Not today, anyway. Better leave one for Greedy Snappy. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. After dinner, cream puffs always taste better. Just after breakfast. Aha! Caught you. I have ways of dealing with cream puff crooks. Oh, Greedy, need any help with the breakfast dishes? Uh, no thanks, Papa Smurf. I just got four volunteers who agreed to do the dishes in return for a cream puff each, paid in advance. <laughs> I see. Very well. Digging that new well handy? Right, Papa Smurf. My new well digger will make short work of it. You need a longer drill. Just watch, Papa Smurf. This is my latest design. Hey! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Handy, are you all right? Oh, uh, sure, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid you need to re-smurf your latest design. Can I help you? Why, sure. I mean, uh, no thanks, Papa Smurf. It's supposed to do that every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> it uh, uh, keeps the drill clean. If you say so, Handy. If you say so. Brainy Smurf, I'm here to help you finish your speech. Uh, thanks, Papa Smurf. But it occurred to me that a born speech maker should be able to write his own speeches. <laughs> oh? Uh, well, uh, fine. <laughs> That's just fine, Brainy. Does any Smurf need my help today? No, thank you, Mama Smurf. Then I'm going to play chess with Omnibus. Have fun, Papa Smurf. Checkmate, Papa Smurf. Uh, what? Oh, oh, so 
it is. That's three games you've lost in a row. Your mind's not on the game, Mama Smurf. I keep thinking about my little Smurfs. They're becoming more and more independent. Soon, I don't think they'll need me at all. Ha! Huh, nonsense! That problem you had with Big Mouth yesterday, could any one of the Smurfs have handled it without you? Well, I'm sure they would have found a way. But which one? And how? Wait, wait! I have just the thing. Come with me. I built this magical room since your last visit. I call it my Imaginarium. Crystals from the Reverie Mountains. How does it work, Omnibus? Sit in the chair, Papa Smurf. The Imaginarium magnifies your imagination and lets anyone in the room share it with you. Very imaginative. <laughs> Pretend you hadn't been there to deal with Big Mouth yesterday. Who would have taken charge? Well, uh, <laughs> Brainy would certainly have tried. Ha! Imagine Brainy trying to get rid of Big Mouth. Imagine. 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 Big Mouth and the Smurf Refill. What do we do, Brainy? Have no fear. I, Brainy Smurf, have written a treaty between us and Big Mouth. <clears throat> Mr. Big Mouth, this constant raiding of our Smurf berries has got to stop. I, therefore, have drawn up a treaty whereby you will stop raiding our Smurf berries in exchange for one Smurf berry a day. <laughs> Two Smurf berries a day. Hmm. Well, Papa Smurf? Well, there are more sensible Smurfs, like Smurfette. She'd have found a way to deal with that ogre. Big Mouth and the Smurf for the fields. What do we do, Smurfette? Hmm. I know just the thing. Help me pick some flowers. Pick flowers? They're filled with pollen. Big Mouth can't eat Smurf berries and sneeze at the same time. Big Mouth loves Smurf berries. <laughs> oh, Big Mouth, would you like to smell the Smurfiest flowers in the forest? Mmm! Big Mouth loves flowers. <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> them could have done it without you. I guess you're right, Omnibus. <laughs> I wonder. Wonder what, Papa Smurf? Oh, it's silly, I know, but I was wondering what the little Smurflings might do in that situation. <laughs> Don't wonder, just imagine, Papa Smurf. Big Mouth in the Smurf Field. What are we gonna do? Oh, we need a plan. Right. Slouchy and I are gonna put that Big Mouth never get tired of Smurf berries. <laughs> Ooh, yum, 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 yum. That's it, Slouchy. That's it. That should do it. But he flattens more berries than he ever would have eaten. <laughs> well, not a bad attempt for Smurflings. I wonder if Baby Smurf... No. <laughs> I just can't imagine that. They do need me, Omnibus. And your Imaginarium has shown me just how much. Happy to help you, Papa Smurf. Well, I'd better get back to the village just in case something comes up. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye, Papa Smurf. Goodbye. <laughs> Big Mouth hasn't come back, has he? No, Papa Smurf. Phew. 
Does any Smurf need me? Not at all, Papa Smurf. Everything's as Smurfy as it can possibly be. Hey, And this is, or was, my home, you, you housebreaker. And what's more, you made me spill my grouch. You! So that's what that awful smell is. Grouch, whatever grouch is. Any fool knows that grouch is wild onion and garlic relish, and we gremlins adore it. So I see. But I, Pee Wee, must get this wood back to the king. Sorry about your house, gremlin. But after all, it was just an accident. Besides, there are plenty of other trees. Now see here, Pea Brain. You ruined my home, and you must find me another one. The name is Pee Wee. And I said I was sorry, and you're perfectly able to find your own tree. Pia, Bikit! Pia! Home wrecker! You won't get rid of Gaston so easily. Smurfs will return after these messages. Water Wiggle Water Toy. Your parents attach it to any garden hose. From Whammo. Free ride. Pull. Okay. The McDonald's Happy Meal guys. Roger. Hamburger. Fries. And soft drink. All regular, regular size. How do you like the ride so far? Ride? What ride? Whoa. <laughs> ride, ride. One for the King's Castle. One for the King's Show. One fridge water. You get one of five different Happy Pails when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal. And one for the king. <laughs> you can collect all five Happy Pails at McDonald's. <laughs> Jake Rockwell, Ace McCloud, and Doc Terror each sold separate. Trouble on forever, Jake. And it's just salt mode. Let's do it. My name is Doc Terror Dam. Centurion, take this. Energize your power. Right, New Centurions, Jake Rockwell, Ace McCloud, and Doc Terror come as shown, each sold separately. 
Smurf will return after these messages. 